Hello, and welcome to Math 281, Intro to Statistics. I'm your professor, Doug Heldbreidel. Um, I'm the one doing this course right now. Um, so I just wanted to kind of create a little video just talking about what to expect for the course, um, the resources you have, um, and hopefully answer some questions that you know are early on in the semester. Um, everything I'm probably talking about in this video will be available in D2L, probably in your syllabus specifically. Um, so if you ever have any questions, you can probably refer to back to D2L in your syllabus to answer those questions, but this will be kind of a great quick resource to get you started. Um, so first off, I um, just wanted to say, hi, I'm your professor. I am a teacher here at Black Hill State University. Um, I've taught here since 2015, um, so I've been here for a little while. I teach all the different kind of gen ed courses. I have teach remedial algebra, um, uh, college algebra, interest statistics, mathematical reasoning. Um, so I, I teach a variety of courses here. Um, I do a few upper level courses to most specifically math for elementary teachers. Um, I live in Box Elder, South Dakota. I'm actually at the Rapid City campus. So I'm not in Spearfish. I am in Rapid City most of the time. That's where my office is, is located. Um, I live with my family. Um, I live in Rapid with my wife, Sam, my son, Dean. Um, we just enjoy the Black Hills area. And you know, this is both where my wife and I have both grown up and so we're used to this area. This is, uh, where our family is, we, we love being in this area. Um, hopefully, if you're local, you're enjoying the area. If not, I'm glad that you've been able to take this course, even though you're not here in the hills. Um, so, syllabus, like I mentioned, is a great resource for you. I did post it in D2L and in my, my fat lab. Um, so, it's in both locations. It has a lot of great uh, the policies that you'll need to know about the course, things like calculator usage, grading policies, um, what to do for accommodations all kinds of things, so it's all located in the syllabus. It's a great resource, you definitely look through at the beginning of the course, and if you have any specific questions later on, it's a great thing to look at first to see if that answers your questions, because most of the questions you have it probably does answer. Um, so you will notice that you do need a proctor form for this course. Um, you are expected to take every single exam in the presence of a proctor, so you need to complete that proctor form. Um, that gives me your proctor's information, so that I know who you're proctoring with. Um, so there's an accountability there, so I know, you know, you're not taking it by yourself. You're not, you know, you can you're taking it with a proctor, um, and also that gives me the information I need to communicate to the proctor um, what they need to know about the exam, how to give the exam, that kind of stuff. Um, if you are in South Dakota, there are some options for proctoring at different testing centers in South Dakota. So at the beginning, I made a little checklist, and you can just pick your location. You know, if you're in Rapids, Spearfish, um, Sioux Falls, Aberdeen, you know, there's testing centers in those locations. And you could just check a box for that location, fill in your information at the bottom so I know who the proctor form is for, and then you could test there. Um, if you're not testing at a proctoring center, then I do need you to give your proctor's information. That's the middle section of the proctor form. So you'll fill that out and put your proctor's information, and that way I know who I'm working with um, for the, giving you these exams. Um, you do need to get that done so you have someone to take your test with, because um, you need to have, pro have a proctor for these exams. Um, there are reviews for the exams um, in my math lab and in D2, oh, sorry, my stat lab. Um, it kind of switches names back and forth to my algebra courses and my stats courses. But so my stat lab does have um, some reviews in there for each exam. Um, there should be um, that you can use and test and just kind of go back and review after you've completed the homework quizzes before you take the exam. You can review and make sure you're ready for that exam. Um, so make sure you refer to those. Um, there will be some lecture videos um, that I should link in both the D2L and my math lab. My lab or my stat lab already has its own videos for each section that you can refer to. Um, those are made by the book creators, um, so those are a great resource. I will also have my lecture notes that I use um, so that I can share those with you um, as videos as well. So, so you have both options. Um, so my lab created, my stat lab created videos, and then um, my videos I've made. Um, make sure if you have any questions, if you're struggling with anything, um, need help with anything, you know, contact me. You have my email. You can email me through D2L. You can email me through my lab. My lab. Um, you can also just use my direct email, which is listed on the syllabus. Um, also, when you're working homework in my stat lab, there are Ask My Instructor questions. Um, you know, it's where you can sit there and you can click my Ask My Instructor, and that will send a link to me, which actually links to the problem you're working. So I can look at the problem you're having trouble with and, and talk about how to solve it, you know, help you approach it. Um, this is available on homework, not the quizzes or on the exams, um, so it's specific to the homework. Um, if you do have questions about quizzes, you could definitely email me a question. I will look at the quiz and help you out with it. Um, I'm not going to help you with tests because exams are something you should be doing on your own. Um, you shouldn't really have access to email when you're doing exams. 
Um, but the homework and the quizzes I'm happy to help with. So please use that, my email, use the Ask My Instructor button, get a hold of me if you're struggling with anything. And beyond that too, if there's anything else in the course, if you have questions about videos, if you have questions about proctoring, um, make sure you email me, get a hold of me. Um, but that's about it. So kind of just an intro um, to the course. So hopefully that gives you an idea where to start. And again, you know, use the syllabus, use the resources in D2L. Um, they should hopefully get you a, an idea of what to expect for the course. And then again, the homework and quiz and all that will be in my math lab, which is the system we use. Hopefully you have a great semester. Talk to you later.